Hey, it is so good to have you with us. I'm Pastor Fred. Hit that subscribe button. Don't want you to miss any of these uh, Advent follow throughs. And, and again, we're following through on the Word of God. We're living this thing out. Uh, really important as we get ready for Christmas uh, because there's so much to do. And, 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 and again, the most important thing is spending time with God, spending time in His Word, praying uh, and, and sharing that truth with other people. And, and part of the Christmas thing, and it started, uh, I think, like perfect timing this year, is uh, Christmas music. Now again, I know a lot of you, maybe you'll, you'll make a comment about, uh, man, it, 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 it's getting earlier and earlier every year, and uh, you know, it's before Thanksgiving, and, but, but I've already, um, again, I'm shooting this before Thanksgiving, and I've been listening to it for a week or so, and, uh, and to me, it's some of my favorite music, and it's just so filled with hope, and, and that's just the dominant theme in a lot of the songs. And one of my favorite songs is, Oh Holy Night. Uh, and the words there, uh, it says, the one line says, the thrill of hope, a weary world rejoices. The weary world rejoices because of that thrill of hope that Jesus is here. And, so, and that's kind of my hope for you. And my hope for, for everyone who is just dealing with this darkness, dealing with this this difficulty that we find ourselves in, right? Everybody seems to be, uh, e even during the holiday season, it's like, it's like, come on, can we give this thing a rest so we can just focus on who God is and what He's done and what He's gonna do and, and, and all of that. And we're just weird, we're, we're kind of done with all of this, aren't we? It's time to experience that thrill of hope. Titus, uh, in, in chapter two, uh, verse 13, it's talking about um, that, and I'll start back in verse 11. He says, The grace of God has appeared. It brings salvation for all people. It trains us to renounce ungodliness, worldly passions, to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. As we wait, right, the, the, the writer is kind of saying, look, I, it's kind of normal for Christians to be waiting for our blessed hope. Not just when we're afraid, not just when we think, oh no, it's going to be the end, right? Like in the movies where they think they're not going to make it. And so they say all the things that they were supposed to say like every day and live uh, in a different way because, you know, th their time is really short. Every day could be our last. We just don't know, right? And, and so we live expectantly. We, we live waiting for our blessed hope. That, and what is it? He said it's the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's the one that died for us. He's the one that rose and, and, and has given us victory over death and the grave. And so when he comes again, it's, it's a glorious thing. It's, it's not a, a time of doom and gloom. It's a time when we will actually see, um, if that's even possible, to see the, the glory of God. I mean, I, I, when I think about the cross and when I think about Christmas, when I think about Easter and, and him rising from the dead, when I think about all that, I, I, I think about him showing his glory as he sacrifices for us, as he gives for us. That's who he is and what he does. And yet, if we could even map, wrap our minds around it, I don't know if we can, that, he's, that this, this glory will be just kind of the culmination of all of it, at the very height of it, as he, as he, as he appears again. Our great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. I, I pray that in the middle of all your expectations, in the middle of all your preparations, right, the decorating and all the things you got to do, just, just take a few moments, as many as you can, and just take in this blessed hope. Just imagine, like, he's, he's, and we don't have to wait for the, for the end of time to have him in our lives, right? To have him in our homes, to have him uh, in our daily experience. So we often think, oh, it's for after I die, that's for like eternity. And, and it is. But right here, right now, I, I just pray that you know his peace and know his joy and his love in your heart every single day. I mean, I, that's what Christmas joy is really all about. And it stays longer then, then when the, all the decorations are put away, it, that light will still be shining. So we'll see you next time for another video follow-through.